Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, perpendicular uh, AD. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, segment uh, BD length uh, is uh, 7 units, whereas uh, this uh, other segment uh, CD length uh, is uh, 17 units. And now our task is to find all the missing side lengths. In other words, uh, this uh, side length uh, AB, the side length uh, AC, and finally this uh, perpendicular uh, AD length uh, as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And now since we are interested in calculating these uh, all missing uh, side lengths, and here's our very first step. I am going to label uh, this side uh, as our lowercase uh, a, and this side uh, as uh, our uh, lowercase b and this uh, perpendicular uh, ad i'm going to label this one as our height uh, lowercase h and furthermore i'm going to label uh, this uh, tiny segment bd length uh, as uh, x and this segment uh, cd length uh, as uh, y and now our task is to find the value of uh, a the value of b and finally the value of height h as well so this way our x value is 7 and our y value is 17 and furthermore i'm going to label this whole base bc length as lowercase c so therefore our this c length turns out to be 7 plus 17 is going to give us c equals to 24 and now let's recall the euclid's theorem and here's our very first uh, euclid's uh, theorem h square equals to x times y and we know our x value is 7 and y value is uh, 17 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so our h square value is going to be equal to 7 times uh, 17 and that is going to give us h square equals to 119 and now i'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides and here we can see this square and square root is gone so therefore uh, our height h value simply turns out to be positive uh, square root of 119 units so thus this uh, height uh, h value turns out to be the square root of uh, 119 and here's our uh, second theorem a square equal to x times c where our uh, x value is 7 and our c value is uh, 24 let's go ahead and fill in the blank so a square is going to be equal to x value is 7 times uh, 24 and now I'm going to tweak this uh, 24. 24 could be written as uh, 4 times uh, 6. And uh, now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. And here we can see this uh, square root of 4 is going to give us 2. So therefore, uh, our lowercase uh, a value has got to be 2 times uh, the square root of uh, 7 times 6 is going to give us uh, 42 so therefore our this uh, a b length uh, simply turns out to be 2 times the square root of 42 and here's our another euclid's theorem uh, b square equals to y times c where our uh, y value is uh, 17 and our c value is 24 let's go ahead and fill in the blank so b square is going to be equal to 17 times c value is 24 and once again we are going to tweak this 24 and now i am going to undo this square by 
taking a square root on both sides and here we can see the square root of 4 is going to give us simply 2 so therefore our lowercase b value simply turns out to be 2 times the square root of 102 units so therefore our this ac length simply turns out to be 2 times the square root of 102 so thus here are our lowercase a lowercase b and lowercase h values by using the very first method and now i'm going to share with you the second method as well and here i'm going to show you how we are ended up with these values of a b and height h in other words i'm going to show you the in-depth proof and here's our very first step let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words the sum of these angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees let's assume that this is our angle alpha we know this is our 90 degrees angle so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta and now we can see that this is our 90 degrees angle this is our angle beta so therefore uh, this uh, remaining angle has got to be our angle alpha and finally this angle is a 90 degrees this angle is alpha so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta and now let's focus on these uh, two right triangles this uh, right triangle uh, bda and this uh, other right triangle uh, CDA. So therefore we could see that these uh, two right triangles uh, BDA and the other triangle uh, CDA are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. And since these two triangles are uh, similar so we are going to have a proportion. In other words the ratio of the side lengths AD and BD must be equal to the ratio of uh, CD and AD. And now let's focus on this uh, AD length that is being represented by lowercase h. So I'm going to replace that one with the lowercase h. And likewise this AD length uh, is going to be lowercase h as well. And now let's focus on this uh, BD segment length uh, that is our uh, 7 units. So I'm going to replace that one with 7. And finally this uh, CD length uh, is 17 units. So I'm going to replace that one with 17 over here and now we are going to cross multiply so therefore uh, h time h is going to give us uh, h square equal to 7 times 17 is going to give us uh, 119 now we are going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our lowercase uh, h value turns out to be indeed square root of 119 so thus our lowercase h value indeed turns out to be square root of 119 by using the second method and now we are going to focus on this right triangle bda and this big right triangle a b c and we can see both of these uh, right triangles uh, BDA and the triangle uh, ABC are our similar triangles as well. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words the ratio of AB and BD must be equal to the ratio of uh, BC and AB. And here we can see our uh, AB length is being represented by lowercase a. So I'm going to replace that one with lowercase a. And likewise, this uh, AB length is going to be lowercase a as well. And our this uh, BD length uh, is uh, 7 units. So therefore, I'm going to replace that one with the 7. And finally, this uh, BC length is being represented by 24 units. So I'm going to replace that one with uh, 24. And now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore, we are ended up with the A square equal to... 24 uh, times uh, 7 and we can see 24 could be written as uh, 4 times uh, 6 and this is going to be 7 and that is going to give us 4 times uh, 
42. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our lowercase uh, a value is going to be equal to the square root of 4 is going to be 2 outside times the square root of 42. So thus we could see that our lowercase a value indeed turns out to be 2 times the square root of 42 by using the second method as well. And finally we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CDA and this uh, whole uh, right triangle uh, ABC once again. And we can see these two right triangles, uh, the right triangle CDA and the other triangle ABC are our similar triangles as well by using the angle-angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words, the ratio of the side lengths AC and CD must be equal to the ratio of BC and AC. Let's focus on this segment uh, AC length uh, that is being represented by lowercase p. So I'm going to replace that one with lowercase p. Likewise, this uh, AC length is going to be lowercase b as well. And this uh, CD length is being represented by 17. So I'm going to replace that one with uh, 17. And finally, our uh, this uh, BC length uh, is 24. So I'm going to replace that one with 24 over here. And now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore, uh, B square value is going to be equal to 24 times uh, 17. And now I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both uh, sides. And here we can see our lowercase uh, b value simply turns out to be 2 outside and then the square root of uh, 102 units. So thus uh, our lowercase b value turns out to be indeed 2 times the square root of 102 by using the second method as well. So thus after all the calculation and substitutions our uh, a B length uh, turns out to be 2 times the uh, square root of 42. Our side uh, A C length uh, turns out to be 2 times square root of 102. And finally our this uh, height uh, A D length turns out to be square root of uh, 119. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.